I have a career of almost 30 years. I prepare myself for this kind of challenges. I prepare my whole life for situations like this. For me, it's a privilege. I'd rather have this kind of moments, which is very hard. After you're done, you look behind and you say, fuck man, it was a hard road, but an amazing, beautiful road. Jens is an amazing producer that really pay attention to very little details. I think Jens is a guy who really understands and respects each band and each musician. It's been pretty fucking fantastic, uh, actually. Sepultura uses detuning and B-flat tuning. That way the songs can get a bit more diverse. So that's been the treat. We basically try to capture the best legacy of the Sepultura sound and bring out the energy of the band even more while updating a little bit and making it even better and heavier. It's great of uh, really unifying and give this unity to the album. He's really into the whole project and, and that's very important. He's the fifth member of the band in the studio. I guess that depends on the emphasis you put on to it. You said, yeah, that's pretty good. Or you can say, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's really good. That's also pretty good. When he does like that, like, yeah, with the hair like that. When he yeah. does like, we keep the hand like, yeah, that was pretty good, waiting for the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another one. Awesome, dude. All right. Yeah. I guess he's trying to help, right? <laughs> You have a nice touch. What can I say? <laughs> I think he heard these horror stories about me being really anal and picky. So he looked pretty scared uh, coming in here. I suppose that just took a few minutes and then he realized that I'm worse. sounding brutal. We were on the same page with this and Andreas was really determined to get his rhythm guitars the best way possible. It's amazing man, all the horror stories are bullshit. <laughs> I think we kind of do everything together. It's hard enough to fulfill our own expectation as a band. The music of Sepultura really takes everybody in a direction. Uh, we have to agree in that direction, you know, what direction we're going. Well, Sepultura is in a very great momentum, not only in the studio, but on stage and off stage. Uh, Eloy has been in the band uh, almost for five years now. We know each other much better. We know our limitations. We let that feeling really flow strongly when we write and when we do our stuff. And I guess that's why we're here. We respect the momentum very much and the present it's here and now. Kid is weak, doesn't know how to play, breaking shit all the time. I had enough of it, man. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> yeah, I told him. <laughs> Thank you.
Doing rhythm guitar is, is hard work. It requires long days, quite a high concentration level to try to get everything in tune and time with the passion intended. Pressure is normal. If you don't have pressure, you might as well do something else. Especially doing something like this. Art is very... the momentum. You have to feel good about yourself. Unconsciously, you bring everything to your performance and to your music. You have to be honest with what you're doing. We came prepared for this. The studio is very truthful. You hear everything, all the good stuff and more of the bad stuff. You are a better musician afterwards. Art, you know, can take you some places that you don't expect. And that's the beauty of it all. Well played. <laughs> it's not very convincing, but okay. <laughs> it's a good ending for the mood. <laughs> I think this song is too slow for Andreas. He's uh, yawning all the time.